Hi, I am Lucian Kota and in this video we will see a Clickview Sales application in action. First of all, we are logging into the cloud platform with a username and password. We are presented with all the applications that our user is allowed to access. Let's open the sales application. In the first page, we are presented with general application data like version number, last reload date, or how old is our data. In the second page, we have a quick guidance over the basic operations in ClickView, how to navigate, select, or search for data. Accepting the first two pages which any application should have, we will use a dashboard to see in one glance how the sales are performing statistics to notice overall trends, sales charts to perform detailed analysis up to transaction level, and what if to test different sales scenarios. In dashboard page, we see different KPIs like today sales versus same day last month versus same day previous year, last 12 months trend, current week statistics like active customers or return rate, current week's salesman's performance, and top 10 sales by item category, salesman and partner. This dashboard is not fixed. We can change the analysis date to have a point in time view. The estimated value to the end of the month is also recalculated based on analysis date. In week statistics, we have the trend direction from the last week represented by arrows and when we hover the mouse over the arrow, we can see the reference value. If we hover the mouse over the KPIs, we see the actual list of items composing the KPI value. Furthermore, if we click on the KPI, components will be selected. This is customized functionality without using any macros. For example, if we are curious why King Robert is so successful this week, we select Robert in the scatter chart. We notice that in fact he has only one customer, Chop Sui Chinese, who bought items from two categories, spending up to 2000 with a gross margin of 5%. Let's see how Robert performs in general, not just last week. We go to statistics and we notice that he is expanding his customer base which spend more each month and he has no items returned. Let's see how he is performing compared to other agents. For that we go to detail statistics, sales, clear current selection and switch from a global view to sales. We notice that he is not a constant top performer. But which agent is the most profitable? Let's go to the sales. We notice that Margaret is the agent with the biggest sales, but Robert has the highest margin rate. Let's see the actual margin instead of sales value. Robert is in fact the second most profitable agent. Let's compare the agents in another way. We go to the ABC chart and we see that and Michael and even Laura, despite the fact that they sold more than Steven, they have lower profit. Maybe we should see what's in the history of the sales. We select the comparison chart and change the measure from sales to margin. We notice that Steven has a big sale in my 2012. But what is this sold? We change the third dimension from global to item category and we see that he sold 
beverages. So his performance was one time deal, not a constant effort. In fact, when we look at the Pareto chart, he is classified as last. Finally, I was thinking about reducing prices. Maybe I could push the sales forward. Let's see my theory is valid. We switch uh, to the what if uh, page and start to play with the sliders. First, let's say that I will drop the prices by 5%. Now, let's assume that the sales will increase with 10% in quantity. We see that even if we sell more, we will still lose money. Maybe we could convince the suppliers to participate to our campaign with a 3% discount. Still negative. My plan doesn't seem to be valid. We have to try another scenario. Anyway, this is how sales analysis application can help us in understanding all the aspects of the business and not taking decisions based on guts. Thank you for watching.